Shalom, Shalom. Giving all praises and honor and glory as due to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone of real will. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect that are scattered abroad. To the sincere brothers that are pushing this truth with all right sincerity, risking their lives and fearing to do so. And to the Aqua, the few sisters that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Andre coming back at you with another lesson. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, go willing to edify and to feed the lamps of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. So, this lesson is going to be entitled, The Elect Does Not Love This World, okay? And we don't, we don't love this world, man, okay? We hate this world, we hate everything about it, we hate this, you know, this current system that we're in, because who's ruling, who... Because who is ruling this world, man? Okay? Who's ruling this world? Esau, even the so-called white man. He's ruling this world. And he's not ruling this world in righteousness. He's ruling this world in wickedness. Okay? Because when the Israelites, when we come back in power, we're going to rule the world in righteousness. But the whole earth is in mourning because of this damn devil, man. Okay? And hey, the elect, starting with the 144,000, Mighty men, the whole full elect, and the one third men, women, and children that are going to be saved. We hate this world. We hate everything about it. The wickedness, the men are out of order, being effeminate, the women are out of order, all right? Want to rule over the man, the children are out of order, the food is, is eating fake food. We're not eating real food, okay? That's putting, you know, nourishment in your body and putting in the nutrition and stuff that we need in our body. The water is tainted. The air is tainted. You got to walk around with a goddamn mask on. Okay? This isn't living, man. Okay? This is not living at all. All right? This is hell for the elect. And, and if you're a true follower of Yahweh Bashin Yashai, if you truly love Yahweh Bashin Yashai, you will hate this world, man. You will hate the evil and love the good. And as a matter of fact, let's get that, man. Okay? Let's see. Mm, let's see. Where is... No, I don't think it's Jose. I think it's Amos. Oh, uh, let's see. I think it's... Where? Let's see. Sulaki. So hmm... Actually, I'm going to start at Am this is Amos 5, and let's see. I'm going to start at verse... I'm going to start at verse 13. Therefore, the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time. Seek good and not evil, okay? We're supposed to be seeking good and not evil, okay? But our people... You two-third Israelites, our people, they love the evil and they hate the good, okay? Now, I got another preset to that, too. That ye may live, so the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai, the power of hosts, shall be with you as he has spoken. Watch this, verse 15. Hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai, the power of hosts, will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. See? So we're supposed to hate the evil and love the good, man. But what our people do? They do this, man. Okay? Isaiah 5 and verse 20. They go along with Esau, Edom, and his wicked world. Okay? This is Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 20. It says, Woe unto them that call eat good. It's lucky. Let me start again. I'm sorry. Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. So woe to you, you wicked Israelites, man, that call evil good. Okay? The things that are evil in this world, you say it's good. You say that two men and two women can get married to one another. You can... You eat whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. That's saying evil is good, man. And the Lord is going to destroy you. Okay? Hey. And what we're saying is good 
you know, coming back to the law, statutes, commandments, stop eating pork, stop following the ways of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, you say that's evil, that's racist. We telling Esau, Edom, his judgment, you say, we're racist. No, man, that's not racist, okay? You say that's evil, what we're doing. We're out on the highways and byways, we're pushing this through. We're telling our people to come back to the glory, how about she outside, to put away the, the evil things of this world. All right, to not to take the jab, to not to take anything that this damn devil's got to offer, okay? And to tell Esau even that he's going into captivity for a thousand years for all the wickedness he has done on this earth, you say that's evil, <laughs> okay? You Israelites, two thirds of you, you say that's evil. You saying that that's that's wrong, okay? You, that that's wrong. You you shouldn't say that. You know we, we should all love one another. No man, the glory how about she out shy makes it very clear, man. Hate the evil and love the good, man. Okay, we supposed to be like him. You okay? We supposed to be like you. How about she out shy, man? And what is your how? And a lot of you Israelites, man, you don't know what you how about she out shy is about, man. You don't know what he's like. Okay, watch this. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Psalms 5 and verse 5. This is what Yahweh Shad is, man. Okay? This is Psalms 5 and 5. It says, The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. The Lord Yahweh Shai hates all workers of iniquity, man. He doesn't love good. I mean, Snoggy, I'm sorry. He doesn't love uh, wickedness. Okay? Snoggy. I a little tongue twisted there. All right. Um, here's another one. Here's another good one. This is Psalms chapter seven and verse eleven. It says, "Yahweh judges the righteous, and Yahweh is angry with the wicked every day." The Lord Yahweh Shion Shahi is angry with the wicked every day, man. Okay, he is not happy with what's going on. Okay, so that kills that whole that God loves the sinner but hates the sin. That's all lies and all bullshit, man. Okay? Let's see. That's another one. Um, Proverbs 13. 13, I believe. Uh, no, it's not the one I want. Um, let's see. Yeah. I it's not okay. I wouldn't intend to go to this. Some of these scriptures, but uh, I'm looking for the one that says, I'm gonna find it. Yeah, here it is. Con, this is Proverbs 17 and verse 15. He that justifieth the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they. Both are an abomination unto the Lord Yahweh Shai. So if you're just, so if you're justifying wickedness in this world, and you're condemning the just, and you're condemning righteousness, the Lord said that's an abomination. Okay, and you're gonna be destroyed for that, man. Okay, so like it says, you can't serve two masters. Okay, either you're gonna hate one, and you're gonna love the other. Let's get that. All right, let's get this. Matthew 6 and 24. No man can serve two masters. Okay, you can't serve, you can't have one foot in this truth. You can't have one foot in this truth and then have another foot in the world, man. Okay? Alright? You can't be doing this work and then looking back in the world what you miss and then take your hands off the plow, man. Like it says in Luke 9 and 62. No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back. It's not fit for the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay? That means you love the world more than you love your Hamashi Yashai. Okay? You can't serve two masters. Okay? Let's, watch, let's continue to read. Matthew 6 and 24. No man can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one. Either you're going to hate this world. Hate this world. And love your Hamashi Yashai in his way. Or love the other. Either you're going to love the world. And hate the glory of Yahweh Shai in his way, or right in righteousness, okay? Or either, or else he will hold on to the one, 
Because a lot of our people, they want to hold on to Babylon the Great America, man. Okay? You're trying to hold on to this place. This place is about to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire, man. Thermonuclear destruction and night. Okay? Them ICBM nuclear missiles and laser cherry fire when your shot comes back, man. 2021 is the year of hastening into the day of the Lord Yahweh Shah. This is what the men and the Lord, all right, the hopeful elect are looking for. We're looking for and hastening into the coming of the day of Yahweh Shah. And Lord willing, we pray that this is it's sluggy and getting tongue twisted. <laughs> I'm getting over excited. That this is this year, man. We pray that this is the year that Yahweh Shah comes back. Destroys America, take Esau and Edom out of rulership, okay, and establish the kingdom of heaven, man. This is what the hopeful elect is hoping for. Lord willing, I'm one of those, uh, one of those men, okay. All right, we're hoping for that. But two thirds of our people, what they do? They love this world. They love this place. They trying to hold on to this place, just like Esau Edom is. <laughs> Even Esau, even, hey, we can expect that out of Esau, man. But two-thirds of you Israelites, man, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, come on, man. Why are you trying to hold on? This place is dead. I mean, go type in uh, New York City Times Square, man. All right, New Year's uh, night. Place is dead. New York City, man, come on. Think about this shit. Think about this for a moment. New York City usually be packed with people during the New Year's Eve and, you know, during the, you know when the drop of the ball happens. Okay, you know, I've seen it on television, man. You can be packed with people. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of people on the streets. Look like, <laughs> man, it looks like a damn crowd down there. You didn't see that. That's a sign, man. This place is dead. This place cannot be saved. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed, man. America, Babylon the Great will not be healed. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but hey, I don't care. Okay? This place will not be healed, man. And you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans need to wake your ass up and realize that this place will not be healed. This place is this place is through. Never in my thirty four years of living I seen something like that. <laughs> Come on, man. Think about it. Think about all the years, all the years you live. You sit on TV, you know, you New Year's. You see people packed. You know, twenty nineteen going into twenty twenty. That was the last hoorah. Like uh, Elder Apostle Gabar said, that was the last hoorah for America, man. That was that last hoorah. But 20 going, 2020 going into 2021, psh, dead. Almost like a scene out of the movie I Am Legend. Come on, man. But here you are, you dumb, stupid Israelites, man. You still trying to hold on to this place. Psh, hey, man, you better learn to let go. Live and let die, man. That's what I'll say. Live and let this place die because this place, hey, because when you you start living, okay, once you get into this truth, that's when you truly start living, man. When you come into this truth and this knowledge of Yahweh about Shia, that's when you start living. And everything else, let it die. Say, forget this place. This place is wicked as hell. There's no coming back from this place. This place is not going to be revived. This place is, it's like a, um, uh, how I put it? Like in a hospital, man, when you got somebody on life support. <laughs> America is on that life support. And this place about to be taking out that life support. And then soon, flat line. <laughs> hey, come on, man. This is it. It's over for this place. Not that it was great anyway. Yeah, this place was never great. But this place is through. All praises to you. How about Shin Yao Shai? The glory how about Shin Yao Shai is doing this for us. Come on, man. For his elect. And you can't see that? Hey, man. You continue to hold on to this place? Gonna be destroyed along with it. 
So I like that to say. Matthew 6 and 24 again. I know I'm rambling on, but that's okay. It had to come out. Matthew 6 and 24 again. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold on to the one and despise the other. No, Sloggy, ye cannot serve God and mammon. Okay? Let's see. Actually, since I spoke of it, let's get this. First John chapter 2 and verse 15. It says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. The elect, we don't love this world, neither the things that are in this world, man. We have forsaken this world. We have given up everything. We have a lot of brothers that have given up great careers, given up Things that they wanted to do to follow the Lord Yahabashi Shai, man. We have given up a lot of things to follow Yahabashi Shai because we know that there is a greater reward. We know that. As a matter of fact, oh man, uh, um, I'll look for it. Actually, I need to look for it now because I don't want to forget it. Somewhere that, oh man. See the um mm, lock you. What is that? I know what I'm looking for too, man. Cause I just spoken it to fruition. Um I'll find it. Because I know what I'm looking for, too. Lock you. Um, I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. Right here. Matthew 19, verse 27. Come, that's what I'm looking for. I'll praise to y'all about seeing y'all shy. Matthew 19, verse 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, this said unto y'all shy, Behold, we have forsaken all and follow thee. What shall we have? Have the, therefore, watch this. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, because we're gonna because hey, spirits are regenerated. That's talking about reincarnation, because hey, the prophets that were all the old, they're back now. Okay? Waiting for Yahweh Shai to return, man. All right, to get that glory. All right, when the Son of Man, this is Yahweh Shai, shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye shall also sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. See, okay, the men of the Lord, the 144,000, this is what we're hoping for to sit on thrones, judging on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel, man. This is what we. This is what we're hoping for, okay? Let's continue to read. Verse 29. And everyone that hath forsaken house or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit it everlasting life. You hear that? This is what this is all about, man. Come on. This is what we've forsaken. We've forsaken our brothers, our brothers, sisters, family, family, wives, children, the the, the wants of this world for the glory of Yahweh Shai's namesake, man. And we do that, we're going to receive, and because of that, this is the prize right here, man. This is the prize. 
Tell me you don't want that. Sitting on thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. We're going to receive a hundredfold. The things that we've lost, we're going to receive a hundredfold. Even if you don't have certain of these things. Even if you don't have a wife or wives or children. I don't have a wife or wives or children. But even if we don't, you got some brothers that do. But even if we don't, the glory, how about she I promise that we're going to receive a hundredfold. You think the men that are single, okay, that are um, in the chair is going to get off the chairs with not having a wife? Oh, no. And a lot of you women, you think you women are going to get off these chairs and not having a husband? You're going to be assigned a husband, okay? I'm going to have wives, okay? I don't have a wife now, but I'm going to have them. I'm going to have children. Hey, this is what we're fighting for, man. This is what we should be wanting, man. This is why we forsaken the world and follow Yahweh Shai, man. So we can sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel, in those new bodies, having spiritual powers, having abundance. We're going to have everything. I can't even fathom of all the things that we're going to have. We're going to have it all, brothers and sisters. This is what we have forsaken the world for. For this. We have forsaken our family, house, everything, man. We're going to get it all back. And even if we don't have those things, we're going to get them anyway. Okay? Let's read this again. Verse 29. Actually, I'm going to start at verse 28. Matthew 9, 19 and verse 28. And how shall I say unto them, Verily I sing unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye shall also ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel, and every one that forsaken house or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life, able to live longer, man, not be able to die, not be able to get sick. In these old decrepit bodies, we get sick, got allergies, it's worn out. I want one of those new bodies, man. I don't know about you. I'm sick of this damn body. I'm like Chucky in the goddamn movie Child's Play. I don't want out of this goddamn body. <laughs> hey, I want out of this body. This body is, whew, it's out of shape. I hate it. I hate being in this body. This is not how we're supposed to live, man. This is how us Israelites are not supposed to be. We're not supposed to be in this, but we were punished for our iniquity. Okay? But hey, the water you how about Shin Yao Shai, that our iniquity is just about over with, man. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. That's the monument of Israel, you Israelites. This is our last captivity. All praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakakadash. Verse 30, but many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Many that are first in this world, because they have received their constellation on this side, they're going to be last, especially Esau. Esau, look, we're about to witness the, the greatest riches to rags for Esau, man. Esau's about to go from riches to rags. Us Israelites, the last shall be first. We are the last. And we're about to be first, buddy. We're about to go from rags to riches. And when I tell you riches, oh man. <laughs> Gonna make Esau look sorry ass Keenan look like a <laughs> oh <laughs> hey man. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> first John 2 and 15 again. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. 
If you love this decrepit place, if you love the wickedness of this place, hey, the love of the Father is not in you. For all that for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of this, but it's of the world. And the world passes away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of Yahweh abideth forever. You hear that? There you go. <clears throat> Um, let's see. Let's get this. This is Luke chapter 14, verse 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and his mother and his wife and his children and his brother and sisters, ye, ye, and even yourself, your own self, and even and his own life, also, he cannot be my disciple. Now, before I say go any further, does this mean you hate your mom and your dad to the fact that you want to kill them? No, man. Okay? No. But you're supposed to hate because if they don't agree with you, you know, they're trying to tell you you shouldn't be in this true. Okay? Because you got a lot of family, because you got a lot of brothers that are in this true. And, you know, you got a lot of uh, the whole full net that are in this true. Followers of this true, and you know, you got family members that you know come up against you because they might not agree with you. Not you not celebrating Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, all these wicked holidays, and not learning the ways, following the ways of this world, man. Okay, all right, you still love your parents, but hey, if they're not with you in this truth, then hey, it's time to depart from them. Especially, you know, I'm not saying to put away your wife, okay? You're not supposed to put away your wife and your children either, okay? But, you, if, look, if you, because you got a lot of brothers that have wives, okay? All right, you got some brothers that have wives that are in this true. Now, some brothers' wives may, you know, they may follow the truth, all right? But some don't. Children the same way. Okay, don't that mean you put them away? No, you don't supposed to do that. Okay, you don't put your wife or your children away. Okay, you don't supposed to do that. Now, your brothers, your sisters, and it says ye, that means you, and your own life. You say even in his own life also. So if you don't hate your own life, yourself, not saying you hate yourself to kill yourself now. Okay, no, that's not what it's talking about. If, because we hate this life that we're living. This ain't living, man. Got to walk around with a mask on. Looking stupid. Okay? Afraid of some, you know, some some V, uh, uh, a C-19 virus that has a 99.9% recovery rate, man. <laughs> Looking stupid with a mask on. This ain't living. We hate this life, man. We hate everything about this life, okay? We don't like this place. We hate this place. We don't even like being in this body. That's what it means when it say you, okay? Because this body, we hate being in these damn bodies because these bodies are these bodies are worn out. They get old. They get ugh. Ugh. You know? Uh verse 27. Like it says, can't be his disciples, okay? So if you don't hate those things, okay, you can't be the Lord's disciple, man. If you don't pick up your cross and follow the Lord, Yah, Bashin, Shai, and you know what it says right here, verse 27. And whosoever doeth, doeth not bear his cross and come after me can not be my disciple. So if you don't pick up your cross and walk with Yah, Bashin, Shai, and follow Yah, Bashin, Shai, you can't be his disciple, man, okay? That burden, man, to suffer. If you're not willing to suffer for Yahabashi Yah Shai, hey, you can't be the Lord Yahabashi Yah Shai's disciple. Okay? It's all about suffering, man. Suffering, just like King Lord Yah Shai did. He suffered for us. Why we can't do the same, man? Okay? 
This is James chapter 4 and verse 4. Ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with Yahweh? Whosoever therefore will be friend, be a friend of the world is an enemy of Yahweh. So if you want to be a friend of this world, you want to love the world and the things that are in this world, you're making yourself an enemy of Yahweh by seeing outside, period, point blank, man. Okay? <clears throat> uh, let's see. Let's get this. This is Mark chapter 8 and verse 35. It says, Whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospel, the same shall save it. Okay? So if you lose your life, because you're going to have a lot of... Because you're going to have some brothers that are going to be martyrs, okay, for this truth. And they're going to be, they're going to put their lives on the line, okay. We're putting our lives on the line day in and day out. Pushing this word, pushing this truth, okay. Going out to the highways and byways. Preaching this truth to our people. Putting up these lessons day in and day out, okay. We're putting our lives on the lines. We don't love our lives. And hey, we're willing to lay down our lives for Yahweh Bashin Yahshai and this gospel. Okay? We ain't trying to save our lives. We hate our lives. Okay? <clears throat> and you know what? Let's get this. Because this also proves it right here. This is Revelation 12 and 11. And it says... And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shai, and by the word of their testimonies. And they loved not their lives unto the death. We don't love our lives unto the death, man. Okay? We hate our lives. We don't love our lives. Okay? We're willing to die and be put to death than to, to surrender and to succumb to this wicked-ass kingdom. This wicked ass society into Esau Edom and what he's got to offer. And you know what this devil's got to offer. That jab and that microchip. So we're going to be willing to die than to fall, to, to, bow, into the, bow into the image of Baal. And I think that's, um, let's see, Romans. That's Romans 15, I believe. Uh, let's see, Romans, maybe Romans 16. Mm -hmm. Or Romans 14. Look, where's that? Seven down, man's not about to the in the ball. Where is that? Where is that? Mm. Oh, no. those in here somewhere. Let's see. Mm. Here it is. Come on, I was that was too far. Romans eleven and verse. I'll get straight to the point, man. Romans 11 and 4. But what said the answer of Yahweh Shion to him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed to, bowed a knee to the image of Baal. Okay? And what's that image of Baal? Esau's new world order, man. Okay? That chip. Alright? He wants to microchip the whole goddamn planet all right where it says he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads okay that's that new image of Baal. okay and we're not gonna bow down to this damn devil's new world order system all right we're willing to put our lives on the line and to die hey just not to do that okay This is John chapter 12 and verse 25. He that loveth his life shall lose it. So if you love your life, 
and you not willing to die for your house and your shine for this gospel, you're going to lose your life. And he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it until eternal, till life eternal. Okay? So we hate this life, man. We hate our lives. Okay? Alright? Let's get this. I wouldn't intend to go on this long. Um, Revelations 24. Yes. Revelations 24. This is what's coming, man. And I saw thrones and they that sat upon them. And judgment was given unto them. This is talking about the 144,000, man. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of Yahweh, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Hamashiach Yahweh Shai a thousand years. This is what we're looking forward to, man. Okay? And hey, you're going to have some brothers that are going to be beheaded for this truth, for the witness of Yahweh Shai. And the word of Yahweh Bashin Yahushai, man. But don't worry about it. Because the ones who die for this truth, they're going to be raised up first. First Thessalonians chapter 4 tells you that. And you know, let's get it. First Thessalonians 4 and. I read verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, that's talking about Michael, and with the trumpet of Yahweh, and the dead in Hamashiach Yahweh shall rise first. So even if we put to death for this truth, man, it says the one, the dead that died for the witness of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach and the word of Yahweh Bashi Yahweh is going to rise first, man. You're going to be the first to rise up. So we're not worried about that. Okay. So we don't love this world. We don't care about this life. We hate this life. We hate our lives. We hate this world, man. Okay. Verse 17. Then which we are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. That's the chariots. To meet the Lord. You have about shine in the air. And so shall we be. Slocky, so shall we ever be with the Lord Yahweh Shai. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And that's what we do. We comfort you with these words, man. Telling you that Esau is about to fall. And hey, the kingdom of heaven is near. So we don't love our lives. The elect does not love their lives. We don't love this world. We hate everything about it. So with that, Lord willing, I pray this lesson was edifying. Hope you were edified. Call him a young law. Yahweh Bashin Yahushai Bashin Rakakadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone Ruel. Peace and salutations and blessings. Barakathah to the whole full elect that are scattered abroad, pushing this truth. We're going to write in sincerity. And to you sincere followers and believers of Yahweh Bashin Yahushai, Barakathah to you. I say Shalom. Till next time. Shalom, Kwam Yasharanga, and why a Baba Ball? Destruction to this wicked ass kingdom, man. We hate this place, and we're ready to go home. Shalom.